I want to demonstrate for us how we can upload the Swarm plugins in GarageBand. Now, I've already bought the Swarm double reed instruments, the oboe, the uh, English horn, and then the bassoon, and I think also the contra bassoon. And with all these four plugins, I want to show us how we can load it in GarageBand so that we can play it together with the R1 wind controller. Watch on. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to GarageBand and open up an empty project. Double click on this empty project and what we will get is uh, the options to choose either software instrument, audio or drummer. We want to pick the software instrument. When you double click on it, the default will be the classic electric piano. You want to go to the bottom over here where you see plug-ins, click on the arrow and you see e-piano, click on this two arrows over here and there we find your plug-ins. So I'm going to be choosing Swam Oboe as a start. I want to click on this again for the uh, Oboe uh, window to open and now what I want you to do is to try to blow straight into your R1 and you will get the sound coming out. Wrong! because there's another few steps that you need to take. You want to go to the top right where you see uh, the three dots. You want to click on the three dots and then you want to click on the controller mapping and then you want to click on the MIDI mapping and quick reset and there you have it. Under expression, the value should be 2, not 11. So you want to click on 11 and then you change the value to 2, you close this window, and you should be able to get the sound right now. Now, I like oboe 2 most of the time, and I'm going to add a little bit of vibrato. I find that anything from 15 to 20 works very well for me. So I'm going to be playing the scale on oboe 2. Now, what is interesting about the swarm patches is that if you scroll through here, you will get different options of oboe. You have the pop oboe, you have the classical ones, you have the baraco ones, you have the oboe, which is where we started. You have within each of these, top uh, headings, you have, uh, again, multiple oboe choices. So you have six of them for every one of these. So I'm going to go to Barocco, and then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then when you go to classical, again, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. There are different options. And uh, for, I tend, for some reason, I tend to like two. Uh, for most of them, and I, I really love the sound. Okay, so it goes. So I'm going to close the oboe patch right now, uh, and I'm going to be repeating the same thing uh, for the other two instruments. So now I go down again, and when I click on this arrow over here, I find uh, access to Swam English horn. So I'm going to click on it and again click on the blue bit and I will get the window. Same process, same drill. I need to go to the triple dots on the top right, click on it once, click on the control, uh, map, controller mapping, click on MIDI mapping and then change the value from 11 to 2. Close the window. Uh, like I said, I like to, and I'm going to give it a little bit of vibrato, and this is English horn. Same drill, I can scroll through here to pop oboe. which I think has got a bit of reverb added over there.
So I'm going to repeat the drill this time for a uh, bassoon. So I'm going to close this window and now I'm going to go down to the plug-in section and pick bassoon. So I've got bassoon, I'm going to click on this again and I have the bassoon option, the plug-in. I'm going to click on the triple dots again, go to controller, go to MIDI mapping and click on 11. Now, when I click on 11, I'm going to show you a different technique, which is when you click on it, instead of changing this value to 2, I can learn. Now, it automatically will assign 2 when I blow into this, when I click this learn function. So watch. With one single blow, it changed the value from 11 to 2. I'm going to close this. Uh, again, I'm going to pick too warm. Uh, with the bassoon, I think most of the bassoon sounds are actually really, really lovely. So I'm going to go... So I hope this little tutorial has been helpful uh, to get us on a head start uh, so that we can use the R1 together with uh, SWAM uh, plugins which I think are just excellent. Thank you for listening.